Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, and I know I have some explaining to do. It's been a mix of AP Hug exams, shows for theater, practices for theater, and late homework that has brought me to not being able to upload regularly. The good news is, is that by summer I plan to be uploading one video a week again because I will have the spare time to do so, and I will be uploading some more videos on here uh, in the meantime, as well as some Instagram posts. If you uh, aren't following my Instagram, go ahead and check out that. Link will be in the description. I'll be posting some Lego photography, hopefully there sometime near in the future. I already have two photography posts up already. Um, so this video is... A bit different than most of the ones I've done. I know I've done one similar video on the 501st Battle Tank a while back, um, but this is a World War II Battle Brick Deluxe Panzer kit that I have modded. Um, the reason for this has been one that's bothered me for some time. Battle Brick, if you guys didn't know already, is an alternative to Brick Mania that's a little bit cheaper and a little bit less detailed. Some of their newer kits are actually pretty impressive, and for half the price most of the time of their Brick Mania counterparts, um, they're pretty awesome. And they still use authentic uh, LEGO pieces, and sometimes custom weapons as well, uh, including in this set. But some of the issues rely on scale. Because this is a competitor brand to Brickmania and not um, a direct build-off of Brickmania, there are some inconsistencies. So this Deluxe Panzer, which goes for $100 on its website, uh, battlebrick.com, I will also leave a link to that below, is roughly based off of a Panzer III. The only issue with that is I already had a Brickmania Panzer III, and that Brickmania Panzer III looks pretty much nothing like the one on the box. Now, I like the both of them uh, pretty much equally, but this one is much wider and much longer. There is an issue with having them both side by side pretending to be the same tank when they looked nothing alike in reality. So I had an idea. Instead of trying to change this to a Panzer III, which would involve changing the chassis, the turret, and pretty much everything about the overall build and just expanding on it, I decided to turn it into a Panzer II instead, so I can set them side by side and the scale difference will make sense. Uh, it gives me a more of a variety on my armor and also is a... <laughs> the best excuse I have to avoid building another Panzer III, which would take a lot more work. So, behold, my Panzer II custom add-on to my Battle Brick Deluxe Panzer kit. I know, quite impressive. You guys are wooing in the chat, I'm sure. But, this is uh, my design off of the Deluxe Panzer, and I'm pretty proud of it. There were a lot of updates that I needed to make to the overall set, however, I didn't change the chassis or the track, so something I set from the beginning that I wouldn't change. The very first thing that needed to be changed was the turret, because if I go back to the original box here, you can see that the original turret is a lot like a Panzer III's turret, which can't work for a Panzer II. This actually took the most time for me to work on, and I went through several different design interpretations, but as I can take this turret off here to show you guys up close, this turret eventually came out looking really splendid, I must say. It looks just like a Panzer II turret for the most part. still has working hatches, which can close if they'll work with me here. Yes, they can close, and they can open it back up again. Pretty crazy, I know. And you can fit a soldier still in there. It also has much more of a range of fire than the old one did, just like the Panzer II does. So it can almost act as an anti-air unit if it really wanted to. But mostly this is an anti-infantry weapon. I added some nice side detailing. It took a lot of work and some technique to make it uh, really blend well with the tank itself, but I eventually got the look I was looking for. Once that was over, I decided to make some minor revisions to the chassis. That didn't need as much work, but in the front, I did need to change the overall uh, posture. There are some uh, brackets that I added to the front, as well as some extra plating, because the old one looked too much like a Panzer III's frontal chassis, so I had to fix that. I also raised 
by one tile uh, the entire side railing over here so I could add more to the back. The back is also actually pretty vastly different from its original counterpart, but the uh, back hatch can still open and close like the original version could. I added flaps to the back, moving them from the front because that's what it looks like on the Panzer II's actual design. Kept the same exhaust system because it looks the same. Added grill pieces back here, as well as adding a radio antenna. Once all of these attachments were done, I also raised this area by one stud just to give it a little bit more elevation due to it being a different model so I could distinguish it from its original form. And voila, I had myself a Panzer II DAC based off of the Deluxe Panzer from Battlebrick. And it looks really good, actually, side by side with my Panzer III. You can tell that they're supposed to be different vehicles, um, and it makes sense that they're different scales. So you can have these side by side in combat and it not look awkward. People not spam me in the comments of future stop motions asking me why I have two different brands of the same tank. So there you go, guys. That is my custom mod of the Battle Break Deluxe Panzer. Again, I will have links to my Instagram and to battlebrick.com in the description below. They're not a sponsor, by the way. And without further ado, guys, that's it, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.